This video explains how to fix a mid-span break in pixel strings. For example, in this particular case, we have a string of lights, it's powered up, and we have a pixel that works, and then the remaining pixels don't work. Or, there may be one bad pixel here, and the rest of the pixels uh, continue to work. Now, to fix this, we're going to remove two pixels, but to do that, we need to cut them out and re-splice them together. So we have a few tools here. We have some shrink tubing. This is eighth inch clear shrink tubing. Just a simple uh, torch. You can also use a lighter. We also have some 60-40 solder. I have some dikes to cut. And of course, I have a soldering iron. Now, what we're gonna do, go ahead and note where our break is. So this pixel is working, this pixel is not working, and then so on. Where we're actually going to cut is before the pixel that works, and after the last or the first pixel that does not work. So we're going to be cutting out two. Sometimes this pixel, even though it seems to function, does not function. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut those out right away. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and note this. I'm going to remove the power, and I'm going to cut the pixels. Now I'm gonna cut a little bit off of center, closer to the pixels we're cutting out, to so make sure that I have sufficient amount of string. Uh, whenever I put these back together. So I've cut out the pieces. Now uh, we want to make sure, of course, to make sure that we maintain the direction. All right, now I'm going to simply take my dikes here and I'm just going to cut off approximately an eighth of an inch of the insulation. And I'm simply just going to pull back each wire so we can solder each individual wire. Okay, now next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just run these wires between my fingers to make sure that they're all together and we don't have any stray wires. And the next process we're going to use is called tinning. And tinning simply just puts solder onto the wire before we put them together. So I'm simply just going to take some solder, put, put it on there. We don't have to lather it on or anything. And this will make putting these two pieces together very easy. Okay, I've tinned all my wires. Now the next thing I need to do is cut off some shrink wrap tubing. I'm going to cut off approximately about an inch, inch and a quarter. We have three wires on these pixels. I'm just going to pull back a little more wire so we can make sure we can clear putting these on. Put them on before we start. Nothing more frustrating than soldering them together and realizing they're not on there. Now, in this particular wire, our wire is not color coded. Now, some holiday coral pixels will have a notation. It'll say positive, data, negative. Uh, if yours does not, make sure to note the order. Um, sometimes there will be a ribbed wire and a non ribbed wire, and you want to make sure that those match up to the original ones. Okay, so in this particular case, I care, we're just simply going to take my wire and I'm going to touch one of them. I'm gonna put them together and simply touch it and they go right together. Because they're already got solder on them, they just attach fairly easily. And there we go. So we have all three on here. Just gonna give it a nice tug to make sure we're all strong and have a good connection there mechanically. And I'm going to slide the shrink wrap tubing over this. Just give it a quick a little uh, heat with the torch. And you can see that we've made a nice, good connection. So now let's go ahead and test it again. And you can see that now our string works completely. Now, if you do have additional pixels, now we, that we've removed two of the pixels in this string, and let's say that it's a 50 count string, you need a total of 50, now you have 48. If you need to add them in, you could add them in right here, right at the beginning, right where we made the splice, or often if you're using strings that you have to extend anyway, just add them to the end of the string. And that's how we repair a mid-span break.